good afternoon. And, and how, how did the day go for you and your 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 program? It went uh, really well. Appreciate you asking. Appreciate you having me on, Paul. It's been a uh, been a great day. Obviously, a lot of momentum uh, here coming off the last uh, two wins of the season, and then what we did throughout the year as well, winning eight games and. That's carried over into uh, recruiting and, and showed with uh, signing day today with what we've done so far and still got some work to do. We're not quite done yet, but really pleased with uh, what we've done to this point. Coach, how often you hear the cliches from from recruiting experts that, that what you're doing now primarily affects what you're going to do in a year. But but I am interested. Uh, I mean, nobody finished the season like you, you guys did. Uh, what did you sense when you were – yeah, on those final visits uh, recently uh, as a result of that amazing finish over Tennessee and, of course, Clemson. Yeah, a lot of people obviously saw that game. Um, you know, a lot of recruits were either there for it here in Columbia or a lot of the people that were recruiting, Clemson's recruiting, and they were uh, at Clemson that day. And then those are two games that were obviously on the national stage. So a lot of people across the country watched those two games. So it certainly solidified things with the guys that were committed to us. It, uh, the, we won some, some uh, major battles for some young men that signed today with some prominent schools down the stretch. And, and I'd be lying if I said those two games didn't have a big impact on their decisions, just seeing uh, where we're headed and what we've done to this point. And, and then certainly we've, we've added some guys from uh, the transfer portal as well uh, today. Also that, that I've, obviously those, those players watching those two games uh, made an impact on them as well for them to say that this was a place they wanted to be a part of for sure. Coach, there seemed to be a, a theme today from some of the national pundits. I, I read a couple of different pieces uh, saying we, we need to end this early signing period. It's, it's too uh, destructive. It gets in the middle of so much uh, activity. Uh, you, you see it from a much different perspective being the coach, also knowing the upside of getting these players in early. How do you feel about uh, the success or failure of this early signing period? Yeah, I like it. For uh, I do, Paul. I mean, certainly this December has probably been probably been the craziest December ever, just because you're dealing with uh, high school recruiting the guys that signed today. You're dealing with the transfer portal. Um, you're trying to get ready for a bowl game. Signing days later this year, Paul. So like this is the latest it's ever been, if I'm not mistaken. Four days before Christmas last year it was a week earlier. So. You know, we've been trying to put together a signing class, but also get ready for Notre Dame in our bowl game. It's just a lot going on. Uh, I do like the early signing period for the guys that, you know, the, the majority of this class has been committed to us since the summertime and they stayed. I mean, there's four or five guys that we added late down the stretch, but for, I don't know, 80% of the guys that signed today, they've been committed to us since before the season even started. They know this is where they want to be. They're they were ready to get it over with. So I want those guys to be able to, to sign. But, you know, I saw an article yesterday, and I'm not against this, that you can basically sign whenever you want to sign. And it may be something even before their senior season start. And, and I think that would certainly limit, you know, a lot of the scholarship, off, scholarship offers that, that get thrown out as well that, you know, how real or not, how real they are or not, who knows, but it may limit some of that also. I'm interested because, yeah, I mean, there are all kinds of different theories on the commitment, what it really means. And in your case, it meant a lot because the players came came through. But is, is there any code among, I'll be I'll be charitable, among fellow head coaches, uh, in, in terms of, of what, when somebody commits to you or someone else, does that matter uh, if you're pursuing that individual? I wish I could tell you it did. It, it doesn't. You know, it's certainly different now. If a guy commits somewhere i don't honestly i don't spend a lot of time with them there's a lot of other guys that, that want to that want to be a part of this program and and i'm not to say that you know some of our coaches don't keep in contact with guys because things change i mean we signed a young man today that you know was committed elsewhere and changed his mind uh over the summer and changed it again during the season so you certainly know that things change but i put my time into you know the guys that that aren't committed that want to that are interested in being here and certainly it's different now too, Paul, when a guy commits somewhere else, um, you know, you always want to be treat them right and, and be respectful and wish them well and things like that. But I think most coaches would tell you now it's a different time too, because of the transfer portal. A lot of those guys that maybe told, you no know, a year ago or in the portal a year later and, 
and they want to come to your place. So that's a different dynamic. But I think it's different in different sports. I've talked to some of the head coaches here at Carolina and other sports, and and there is a code that once a guy commits somewhere, he you don't mess with him. But you know, right now that's not the case across uh, college football. And and uh, there's a lot of things that certainly we as coaches can be do better at. It. There's a lot of things that the NCAA and and the policymakers, I'm sure, will. Uh, look to do uh, better because there's a lot of them, but you know, no, there's not. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.